And a family on Jacksonville's north side says they have not slept since the beginning of the new year because someone fired bullets around midnight that went into their home. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live. Marilyn, their one year old was nearly hit by one of those bullets. Thankfully, the one year old mom and dad are physically OK, but emotionally, I'm told that they are traumatized. This is not the way that they wanted to bring in their new year, especially hearing that those gunshots may have been celebrating the new year. <laughs> Clinton Washington's wife had no doubt in her mind. My wife was the one who alarmed me that the noises that she heard wasn't fireworks, that they were actual um, bullets coming out of a gun. It was New Year's Eve when a bullet went through their screen door against their refrigerator. And the closest call? There was a bullet that traveled through my son's bassinet. The bullet entered here and it exited out the other end. My finger is here. Frustrated and horrified. A bullet has no name on it, and that is it's scary to think about that it could have hit any of us in this home, and that would have been the end of it. They called police. A forensic detective started marking entry points to their home. We had to wait outside for about two and a half, almost about two hours, two and a half hours for them to do their part. Um, the forensic detective was basically trying to determine on how the bullet went not only through the Lanai door, but also how it traveled through my son's playpen, hit the refrigerator, and then en ended up in my near the couch. They determined that the bullet ended up splitting in half once it hit the um, door. And the second half of the bullet is what traveled through my son's playpen. They say they're grateful no one was hurt, but right now they don't feel safe and say they want someone to be held accountable. The family says they do plan to follow up with police in the morning. And right now it's unclear if any arrests have been made. In Jacksonville tonight, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.